Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Atomic Energy 15 and this is SimCity's Cities of Tomorrow Expansion Pack. Now everybody I have sorted out the background noise. That's brilliant now that's all been sorted. So I have been playing this little game off camera as well but I want to get into the more in-depth more depth of it. So I'm just going to go in and we're going to create a game together and we'll see how we create this game now. I do have quite a lot of um, actual um, maps that I've already been building already and I've been playing with it. It's quite imaginative. I really do like it. And I think on this one we'll go with a more scenic approach. So this one's we're going to go with a more bigger and outwards with the Omega Core and obviously the Mega Towers. There's a lot of like different ways to look at this game in perspective wise. Uh, so basically, we're just going to get delve straight into it. We're just going to have a look at some maps as well. God, there's some really good ones, actually. Oh, what, seven cities, one great weight. So obviously, your great weights are the ones that you build up to make your uh, county more better in a sort of way. Now, see, this one's great for tourism cities, Discover Delta, uh, great works. Uh, foreign city. Ooh, ooh. Only by a narrow highway. This is a small island project into the Sun Runner Bay, and the Sunny Island is the gateway for free spirits and artists. A pair of city sites that share the island and all of its natural splendor. That is amazing. So, mm, I might pick that one. I'm not too sure yet because I want a map that's got accessible by roads, by rails, and also by ocean because each one of them three ones are really important. So, I'm just looking at each one of these. That one looks amazing. Now, I've played this one, the Desolation map, and uh, there is a lot of natural resources and stuff like that. And also, there is a fallout epicenter just to the uh, right hand side here, as you can see. Now, that's the challenge map because that's where most of the mineral resources come from. But you can ship them to the cities around the outside of the islands. Obviously, you got your rambling badlands uh, in the middle of uh, Sapres, one side of the border, quenching the first of the cities that border it. Mm, all right, I'm, I'm taking too much time, so. Yeah, it's going to have to be this. It's going to be the, the Vibrant Jungle. And what should we name it? Hmm. I wonder what we should name it. I, I know. I know. Aha. Atomic Production. Oh, yes. And uh, because I want to unleash my creativity, I'm going to put Sandbox mode on. But don't tell anyone. You know what I mean? Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the plots of land that we've got available. Now I can see that there's eight plots of land available and there is two great wonder sites as you can see here. So this one offers, oh it's quite high in wind, water, ore and coal. Mm, could be a nice mining city, same with that one, quite moderate, quite moderate. That could be quite a tourist city or even uh, an academy or an even research region. Same with that one. So, oh, oh, I don't like the look of that. Hmm, I look at that one as well. Hmm, very decisions. Right, we'll, we'll claim this one. Oh, and we have claimed Mayor Dassey 2013. Oh, yes. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Lord the Tamarind Island, extracting safety drones as you would go. Does take a while to uh, load on this computer also, so we can have a look at that. Also, the Magalib tracks. Oh, there's a lot of things to work with on SimCity. Now, the other game that I'm going to be playing on my uh, channel as well is City Skylines as well. Now, it's what SimCity was supposed to be, more than anything else. Now... I wouldn't really uh, say that SimCity was first out, but technically it really was first out. So, you know, we could have a look at that in more of an in-depth tale as well as City Skylines. So we are in sandbox mode, and as you can see, we've got quite a moderately sized map already. Now, we've got a four-lane junction running right through. Now, obviously, I'm really sorry if my FPS is really bad. 
it's just this is my starting up and when I start getting better stuff and on my computer which will be very soon as well uh, that's when we'll really start be uh, entertaining ourselves with the games that we'll be playing so I think the first thing that we want to focus on really is what power should we have for our city now there's different ways to look at it you can have coal you could even have oil or you could even go with the old time classic and just a wind time power plant Sorry about that, I had to let my dog out. It's a pain in the ass. And obviously, there's loads of different approaches to it as well. Obviously, you could go solar power plant. Or you could even go nuclear as well. Obviously, it does emit a bit amounts of radiation. But, obviously, they could be cleared up as well with the um, stuff that you can use as the economy. Which is the cities of tomorrow. Now, the fusion power plant, that's obviously the bestest one that you could probably ever have. It's just huge amounts of power, but obviously, it takes a lot of power to start that power, which is kind of a really false preaching, really. But I think what we can do is, because we're starting off with a small town, start off with a small wind power plant. Now, we want to be building it against the wind that's blowing, so possibly... Hmm, yeah, there, that's perfect. Now, we don't really need a lot of power to start with, and obviously we're already in minus at the bottom there with the amount of money we're using, so we're just going to put another small turbine down. Now, that should just to sustain our small amount of power, and then we've got 1.2 amounts of uh, megawatts of excess power available. So, now we've got power sorted, the second thing we need is water. Now it's telling me I need to connect my city, but obviously I have connected my city. Now the next thing that we need to focus on is obviously water. Now you can go with your bog standard water tower. It creates ground pollution, which carries sickly transmitted germs, obviously, same as other ones. But now with the new cities of tomorrow, you've got a hydro pumping station. Now, the hydro pumping station doesn't use normal gravity. What it does, it requires power. And the more power we have, the more water that could be pumped through it. Then obviously the next one next to that is a water pumping station. And obviously that in creates incredible amounts of power for uh, water. So I think what we'll do is we'll go futuristic really. And you can see that all the dark blue areas on my map here are the areas that are most quenched in water at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll just put one, look at that, 1,692.4 gallons of water a second that's a second that's not a minute or hour that is a second that is amazing and obviously when you look at it as well oh look at that that's amazing you can see our water goes in and out of the cities as well oh that's brilliant i'm really loving this I'm really loving this so obviously we want to make a high density street support traffic intersections so what we'll do is we'll just cut off most of this map and because what we can do is follow the grid as well which I don't really like doing I like creating my own little uh, type of a city that I like to play with more than anything else um, oh and we've just got an achievement called draw road from the highway well thank you very much lady I will take that in mind now obviously we need to bring more roads down here and across here as well. Do I, do I want to bring them across as well? Hmm. I don't know. Really, this is a game that I want to play on. This isn't the map that I want to be focused on properly. This is the one where I can show you how to make a city really fast and really big and very highly populated as well. Which will be thoroughly enjoyable against the players that are watching this. Which I hope you do enjoy. And if you do enjoy, please subscribe if you'd like for more videos as well. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to cross a little intersection there as well and that is perfect we'll leave it at that at the moment right so now what we want to be focusing on is getting people into our town so that's what we're going to do now now you can see there's a lot of big areas that I've missed out in you play 
oh Tomic, you know, you've left all these areas a bluff and you know you could be creating so much space. It's it's not that. It's just I wanna upgrade the buildings as fast as possible and I wanna get as many people in, in as possible to start my academy building, which is gonna be really mega towerish. So there's gonna be a lot of things going on in quite a big space of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the engraving tool and I'm just gonna fill in all this space, all of it. And I'm going to leave a couple of squares as well because I want a couple of shops in the centrish area. That is amazing. Oh, and they can have like a little sit view houses down there as well. Oh, it's going to be perfect. And what we'll do is we'll whack some commercial in there. That is amazing. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to start focusing on building this road down here. Here, and we're gonna build this as far to the ocean as possible. That is perfect. I couldn't have got it any better myself. Now here is where we're gonna start to building our industrial sector. Now obviously, industrial buildings need a lot of space to upgrade as well. So other than that, now obviously. On the microphone, it might also sound like I've got a bit of a crocky voice. That's not my fault, again. It's just, I just got back from work, and uh, I've, I've just literally started recording as I got in. There's no one in the house. Um, I feel like I'm all alone, so I can do this recording as I'm doing it now. So I'm going to focus on getting an industrial down there. That is sorted now. So the next thing we need to sort out now is sewage. Now, where would all the sewage go, and where would all the sewage pumps? Now... Obviously, we don't have enough money now to actually treat the water, uh, to treat the sewage. Now, we could treat the sewage. It does cost a lot of money. And it just, you know, cleans it up. And you don't want a sewage spill. And it just cleans it. It just cleans it back into normal things. Now, obviously, the ones we want to be unlocking are these ones. Now, this is a sewage sanitizer. This is an advanced filtration technology which allows direct conversion of wastewater into portable water. So grab a glass. Don't worry about ground pollution ever again. So that basically means what it does is it pumps the sewage into there and it pumps out clean water. So basically, the more sewage going in, the more water comes out. Easy. But obviously that is control net and control net does cost quite a bit but i'm going to be showing you what control net does for us and then we're going to be focusing on making that better for our things but for now i think we'll just make a sewage outflow pipe and we'll just dump it into the sea <laughs> i mean that's probably the best way for it at the moment i think just dumping into the sea is going to probably be the best way in it at all but yeah we'll start to focus on that at the moment i think that's going to be great um, and what can we do now? Now we're just going to speed this up and we're going to see how our city is improving and growing over time. Now the things we can do to obviously um, pick up the pace more than that is to improve what we look already and what we've already got. Now obviously the first grade of people are moving in which is your basic sort of like formal introduction of people so they'll just be building simple houses they'll be building little trailer parks you know all the little simple stuff more than anything else but when you put a park down it upgrades it to whatever you want it to upgrade to so if we want to go big straight away oh 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 i, I think i've pressed the run button <laughs> oh there we go yep yeah. well whoa god i were a weird glitch yeah so as you can see now we're dropping out of our hours now so we're starting picking up so the more people that move into our town the more money that we'll start making really quickly so obviously we're making a lot of money there we go now we're into 70 so we're going to keep it at this right now and um, what i want to be focusing on like i said is control net which is your city specifications so obviously you've got your omega core you've got the academy you've got the mega towers they're absolutely awesome i want to show you them in a later video as well uh, but the things we want to be focusing on, like I said, is control net. Now, control net is advanced technologies. It makes your city green. And that's what it, it basically does. It controls all things that are meant to be... It's, it's wireless... Oh, I can't really explain it. It's, it's more like um, wireless stuff, which is quite cool, really, which 
which I like a lot more than anything else. Now, it does say down here that if you build these next to nearby industrial buildings, it increases the tech level industrial buildings. So that's what we really want. We want to be in, uh, we want to be increasing what we've already got. So obviously, someone wants us to get um. um Omega core down, which I don't really want to get Omega core down because Omega is really, really pollutant and it create it needs raw crude oil and raw ore and it creates a lot of stuff, it creates a lot of profit onto your city as well. So obviously, wow, do you know what? I've put it into fast mode. I'm, I'm quite surprised that this city is um, upgrading quite quickly and I, I reckon all this space is going to be filling out very fast actually. So we can keep getting building on this and it's going to be brilliant. But like I said, when we will be making the um, academy, the control net, the more you have of the things like higher up, the more control net you own. So the more people we have in higher wealth, the faster research the progress is going to be. So obviously average and then law and then obviously it, it differs to each one. So what we really want is we want high wealth payers into our town. We don't want any low scrubby people in our town no more. We want to upgrade this town to have big posh things in it. So it'll it interact with a lot of posh people to come and interact with our town. And then hopefully at a later stage, then we can upgrade to mega towers and we can use up the space that we've already got to build upwards instead of outwards. And it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'll be taking you through step by step on how many it does. And as you can see there, the control net transmission rate is 5,250 control net, which is, I think is absolutely brilliant. Now, obviously, it's telling me that there's not enough freight consutuals. So, obviously, the medium wealth houses is a demand for houses. That's going up at the moment, which is brilliant. We want as much wealth as moment. And as you can see, there's a lot of commercial demand going down for the shops that you've got already. So the more people we have working, obviously, the more people are going to go and spend at the shop. Well, sorry, I'm just I'm just drinking a hot chocolate at the moment. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. We should try it. It's a Galaxy hot chocolate. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of people that are not happy, and there's a lot of people that are happy. Now, really. At the moment, I'm not really focusing on what's happy and what's not happy at the moment. As you can see, we've already gone up about two grand already. And we've only made a little small town out of a little sandbox. We are really, what I'm going to be focusing on is Plaza and Foible. Now, these will upgrade the houses up to a three-tier house. Then, you want to be upgrading your houses to a three-tier building, which upgrades it to a tower. Now, excuse me, I'm going to have to go and let the dog back in again. Not quite sure that you never would. Oh wow! Uh, TV, it's a uh, uh, preview for Shutter Island. Which is an absolute rubbish film. You shouldn't go and watch it. It's stupid. And you don't even understand it. And then at the end, it just turns out that he was part of the island all along. Spoilers. So yeah, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on getting our things really high up at the moment. So I want to be building big things and upgrading the area around. And as you can see that the area around this house as well has just been upgraded. So now they're going to grade to medium wealth houses. Now we don't want that. What we want is big posh houses. So there you go. The darker green stuff is what we really want. Now the more we have of that... Now, it's not good just to place one park down at a time, yeah? It's better to have different parks because they create variety in the houses, as you can see. And it also increases the uh, wealth of the land around it quite substantially. So, obviously, yeah, we can wax some of that down. Formal, we can put a nice little formal park down there. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm going to go and visit that as well. And their little kids are going to go and visit it. And they're going to tell the mum and dads about it. Oh, wow, look at that. That's just upgraded a huge amount of space around that area. Look how many happy faces there are. I mean, I never realised I could make so many people so happy 
in such a little small space. So yeah, we'll we'll put that there and wow. Wow. Wow, that's that's upgraded quite a bit in area. Now obviously you can see that the buildings are upgrading quite fast already. Um and we wanna be putting that there. And we wanna be putting that there. Perfect. That is perfect. Oh god, I sound like a la cat. That's perfect. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could have got a little bit carried away. Now, as you can see, my town has already upgraded to the houses to fit like mansions and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people have moved in here, as you can see. Now, what we can do is we can start focusing now on the things we want, like control net. Now, it's always best to build a control. Yeah, we put that there. Put the academy there. And then we'll put some control net facilities along this coast here. And because we're on sandbox mode, what we can do is we can just, you know, keep plonking these down. You know, if we get if we get tired of them, you know, we just we just get rid of them. You know, it's, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So we'll put that there. Now we've got five so far, and it's making 540 control net, which is not enough for. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, it's definitely increasing that. Wow, wow. So what we can do is we can put these transmissions on the back. And these, what they do is they increase the bandwidth to whatever the uh, thing that we want it to control. So we're going to do that with all the buildings. That is perfect. That is absolutely cracking. That is amazing. That is amazing. I, I, I can't doubt this game anymore because it's just it, the, the graphics wise and everything wise, it's just really, really brilliant. And I really like the look of it, uh, detail wise and in detail wise, more than anything else. And I really do enjoy the game as a whole dynamic, more than anything else. Now, we're going to plunk these down and we're going to. I know we've not really made much progress today, but what I feel is we should take a little break, and what I can do is then come back to it on uh, possibly tomorrow, but it might be a new game tomorrow, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Now, please leave comments, uh, please suggestions in the comments below, and also if you want me to play any games, or you want any shout outs on the videos themselves, please put put messages in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to do that now as you can see this bandwidth is absolutely amazing it's already upgrading things around it already and we're doing substantially well we might be in minus obviously you know but you know things like that can change if you oh oh wow oh budget boosted what, what does that mean my oh god we just we just got 13 grand from nothing well, well, I think we'll come back to that then. Well, thank you very much for joining me today on a SimCity game. As you can see, we're looking at this amazing map already that we've built. And, oh, we haven't even got a name. Oh, we Tamarin Island. Uh, I, if someone could put a name suggestion of a city in there, that would be absolutely perfect. Bring that back to me, and I'll be more than happy to name this city for you. So... Um, all I can say is, until then, enjoy yourself, stay out of trouble, obviously, and this is Atomic Energy calling out, peace, brothers!